With the internet going ablaze over the recent codenamed security bug called Meltdown, Intel and Microsoft have joined together to release a patch for Windows 10. And now today I'm going to be testing that on the old school Xeons. These are the generation one sort of six core 12 threaded Xeons that you can pick up on AliExpress for really cheap. And you couple them with X58 motherboards and you're getting awesome price performance. These are some of my favorite chips even till this date because of numerous factors and I've tested this a lot in the past but when I heard of this news of this meltdown my heart sank because apparently we we're going to get a big drop in performance from anywhere from 5 to 30 percent and so when I read about this news I was, I was discerned I was concerned I was like damn does this mean that all these old school Xeons and good old chips even Sandy Bridge chips are going to be affected by this update this is the update that isolates the page table and I've got more on that in a link in the description below if you want to read about the exact problem but today we're going to be doing the benchmarks getting to the bottom of it and also with that i'll give you guys some tips on how you can protect yourself from this menace and for these benchmarks we're using a 1080 ti this is the duke edition and for the cpu it is the xeon x5670 and we've overclocked this to 4.32 gigahertz and it's got triple channel memory and that is running at i believe uh, 1450 megahertz now you might think it's a little bit low but it is in triple channel so effectively it'd be like 2000 megahertz on dual channel ddr3 welcome back to tech yes city and let's get straight on to those numbers for you guys moving on to csgo the first game we had here using a community made map which you guys recommended to me and this is a 1080p everything on low settings and we're just running this benchmark we got an average of 363 fps minimum of 139 and maximum of 675 now i'm just going to get these results out there didn't really bother about 0.1 percent one percent lows just wanted to see the before and after and the after the patch we got 359 fps maximum of 666 and a minimum of 138 fps so csgo showed practically no difference at all before and after this update and then we move on to dota 2 and we've got the pre-update 188 average fps 172 minimum 205 maximum post update we actually did a little bit better of course within margin of error just like csgo 190 average fps 175 minimum and 205 maximum this was also on 1080p at the lowest settings and now moving over to gta 5 again 1080p with the lowest settings possible this is just to stress the cpu to its max potential because we're looking at the cpu since it is meant to be affected by this update and what we saw here was an average of 118 fps with a minimum of 107 129 before the update then post update 121 average fps with a minimum of 104 and a maximum of 131 so gta 5 actually ran slightly better after the update of course we'll talk about it a little bit later i did have a problem where i had to reset the whole hard drive because that's one thing we'll talk about with windows itself it did have some problems updating on this x58 system though the last game we've got up here is pubg of course everyone wants to test pubg and what we saw here at 1080p very low settings was really good performance 123 average fps 97 minimum 138 maximum pre-update post update 124 98 minimum 140 maximum now some of these benchmarks will also have some variants as well dota 2 and especially pubg since it's a multiplayer game i do test on ruins however do run around that section just to get an apples to apples comparison but when it comes down to it the gaming benchmarks there was no difference with the pre and post update so basically this meltdown security flaw in intel cpus and the update for it is making no difference to gaming whatsoever though what about rendering videos now i did have adobe premiere pro installed i decided to do a quick render test and before the update on a 4k video we got 24 minutes and 22 seconds and then post update we got 24 minutes and 18 seconds so there wasn't much of a difference at all so it didn't affect rendering as well and then the last test i decided to run was cinebench and pre-update we got a score of 950 points and single of 127 post update 967 and single of 128 so the update actually helped performance but this is where things get a little bit tricky because I actually had to reinstall Windows after I updated the first time because I don't know what happened. I've never seen this before. Uh, my drive just corrupted and then it was no longer readable. So even if I had a backup image on that drive, 
it could no longer be read. So it was just like the drive got completely bricked by this update and I got the error messages to prove it. I actually captured those as well. So very odd problem. And if you guys want to update to this uh, new update, just make sure you save your important files at the very least, because this is the first time I've ever updated a computer and it's bricked the whole machine like that. So uh, not the parts, I mean, the physically the hardware is okay. It's just I've had to reinstall Windows and that took a lot of time too. So when I reinstalled, everything was okay. So I don't know what really happened there. Also, some other good news to come out of this is Microsoft have rolled out the updates immediately, not just for the full creators update, but also the creators update and the anniversary update too. So you can go to the website and get that. But I believe you can just check your updates and it should update automatically. And with that too, Google Chrome on the 23rd of January are rolling out a new update on the Google Chrome browser, which will allow isolated tab browsing. So that's another feature that's being implemented to combat this new threat. So that's about it for the meltdown problem. There's actually another two variants out there, Spectre and another one. I've got to research that a little bit more. Uh, though for what it's worth, I'm sort of calmed down now. Like, I don't think this problem is as bad as it is, especially for single end desktop users, guys like you and me who just use a computer to play games or edit videos and do work on. I don't think we're really affected, like at all actually, from these benchmarks I've done here today, we're not affected really one bit. But where the problems lie, of course, there are benchmarks showing that there is performance differences and those differences are for people with, you know, large amounts of input and output reads and writes, uh, especially for the server market. So that's where problems could present themselves. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, then be sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comments section below what you think about this whole Spectre and Meltdown thing. Uh, I also think on top of that, uh, single users like you and me, we're not really gonna be a target anyway because you know, we've got a couple of hundred bucks in the bank. Uh, you know, hackers with that much talent and that much ability are not gonna be going after guys like us. When if they do, they're <laughs> practically wasting their talent and time. So uh, with that aside, I look forward to giving you guys another tech video very soon. And also I did do one more benchmark, but it's pretty much invalid because I had to reformat the whole system and that is ASSSD. And before we got a score of 234 and then after we reformatted everything, freed up some more space, we got a score of 319, so yeah. And all that aside, I guess the main message to come out of this video is if you haven't reinstalled your OS in a while, then maybe you should. It'll give you a little bit more performance, especially on your disks. And I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.